book is Clifford's Family. I am Emily Elizabeth, and this is my dog. His name is Clifford. We live in a small town now, but we were both born in the city. One day, we went back to visit our old home in the city. Clifford hadn't seen his mother since he was a tiny puppy. She hardly knew him. She still treated him like a puppy. She checked his teeth and she looked at his ears to see if he had been washing them. The man told us where Clifford's brothers and sisters lived. We went to find them. Clifford's sister Claudia lived nearby. She was taking her owner for a walk. We went to the park with them. A taxi was blocking the crosswalk. Clifford took care of that. Next, we found his brother Nero. Nero was a rescue dog at the fire station. While we were there, the alarm rang. We followed the fire truck. Nero rushed into the building. Clifford helped him. Nero was very brave. Then we set off to the country. Clifford's other sister, Bonnie, was a farm dog. One of Bonnie's jobs was to herd sheep into their pen. Clifford wanted to do some farm work too. He started to drive the cows toward the barn. One of the cows was a bull, and bulls don't like the color red. So Clifford wasn't scared. He was smart. He didn't want to hurt the bull. So he jumped out of the way. When Clifford jumps, he really jumps. We had one more place to visit. It was Clifford's father's home in in a town nearby. The house was small, and there were a lot of kids playing in the yard. Clifford's father didn't have a collar or a dog dish or a dog or a doghouse. But he seemed very happy. I guess it was the kids. He sure loved kids. He was a lot like Clifford, just a little smaller. Clifford wished his family could come and live w- with us, but they all had people who needed them, just as I needed Clifford, the best dog of all. The end. What is your favorite part of the story? My favorite part of the story is where um, where Emily Elizabeth said that Clifford was the best dog of all. This book is. Clifford's Good Deeds by Norman Burwell. Hello, I'm Emily Elizabeth. This is my dog Clifford. A boy named Tim lives across the street. One day, Tim said, "I try to do a good deed every day. If I had Clifford, I could help a lot of people." I said. Let's do some good deeds together. A man was raking leaves. Tim gave him a hand. Then he helped him put leaves on his truck. I didn't know that dry leaves made Clifford sneeze. Achoo! The man said he didn't need any more help. We went down the street. We saw a lady painting her fence. We helped her paint. We helped her paint. When we finished, she thanked us. We, 
we said we would paint the rest of her house. Clifford felt so happy that he wagged his tail. That was a mistake. White paint splattered all over her house. We said we would paint the rest of her house too. The lady said, "Never mind." Then we saw an old lady trying to get her kitten down from a tree. Tim said, "Clifford, get the kitty." Clifford bent the limb down so the lady could reach her kitten, but his paw slipped. Clifford moves pretty fast for a big dog. The lady was glad to get her kitten back. It didn't take us long to find our next good deed to do. Somebody had let air out of the tires of a car. The man asked if we could help him. Tim took a rubber tube out of the car and stuck it on the tire valve. Then he told Clifford to blow air through the tube. Clifford blew, but he blew a little too hard. The man felt better when we took his car to to a garage. We saw a small paper boy. He was so small he couldn't throw the newspapers to the doorstep. Clifford gave him a hand. I mean a paw. Clifford was a l- little too strong. Clink, clink. Look, Clifford broke the glass on one side of the house, came through the other side, but it didn't hit the man. Nothing seemed to go right for us. All our good deeds were turning out wrong. Then we saw a terrible thing. A man was hurt and lying in the street. Nobody was helping him. Tim said. You should never move an injured person. Clifford didn't hear him. He picked up the man. We started off to find a doctor. Oh dear! Help the man get their cable back on the manhole. Tim said. Clifford, maybe you shouldn't help me anymore. Clifford felt very sad. He had tried so hard to do the right things. We headed for home. Suddenly, we heard someone shouting, "Help!" Fire! The house on the corner was on fire. Tim ran to the alarm box to call the fire department. Clifford ran to the burning house. There were two kids up. There were two little kids upstairs. With Clifford's help, we got them out safely. Luckily, there was a swimming pool in the yard. Clifford put out the fire just as the firemen were. Al- Were arriving. The firemen finished the job and thanked us for our help. That afternoon, the mayor gave us each a medal for our good deeds. City Hall. Look, that's the mayor. That's Emily, and that's Tim. And I can't even see Clifford's head. Of course. Clifford got the biggest medal of all, and says in his medal, "Hero," and he looks like a hero too. The end. What is your favorite part of the story? My favorite part of the story is where Clifford blowed water all over the house, and they and he saved the two children's ha- home. Is Clifford's birthday party. My name is Emily Elizabeth, and this is my dog Clifford. Last week was Clifford's birthday. We invited his pals to a party. Mom had ice cream and cookies. We put up decorations. Happy birthday, Clifford! When it was time for the party to begin, nobody was there. Where could they be? We went looking for Clifford's pals. They were all together at the playground. I asked them why they hadn't come to the party. Jenny said that 
They wanted to come, but they didn't have very good presents for Clifford. Not good enough for such a special friend. I told them not to be silly. Clifford would like whatever they got for him. They all ran home to get their gifts, and everyone came to the party. First, we opened a gift from Scott and his dog Susie. Scott had blown it up as much as he could. Clifford blew it up some more. We really had a ball. Then Clifford pulled out the stopper. Pop! That was a mistake. The next gift was from Sam and his dog Lenny. It was a piñata. We hung the piñata from a tree. There were treats inside for all the dogs. Clifford was supposed to break the piñata with a stick. He gave a couple of good swings, and the piñata broke open. The dogs liked their treats. The dogs liked their treats, but we decided not to give Clifford any more piñatas. We all laughed when we saw the gift from Lenny and her dog Flip. It was a little small for Clifford, but it was just right for his nose. Clifford hates having a cold nose. Alyssa and. Nero's gift was a toy dog that talked. Feed me. Let's play. I'm your buddy. Let's play. Clifford thought it was cute. He went to pet it. Ouch! Uh oh. They don't make toys the way they used to. It was time for ice cream when Cynthia and her dog Basker arrived. They brought Clifford a. For Clifford, they brought Clifford a gift certificate from the Bow Wow Beauty Parlor. He could get a free shampoo and haircut. We each had our own idea of how Clifford might look at the beauty parlor. I like Clifford just the way he is. I thanked Cynthia for the gift, but I slipped the certificate to Scott and Susie. I knew she would like it. Then came the cake. Clifford was surprised. He was even more surprised when his family popped out. He hadn't seen his mother and father and sisters and brother for a long time. Clifford liked his presents his friends gave him, but having his family and friends with him. Was the best birthday present of all. The end. What is your favorite part of the story? My favorite part of the story is when they were all imagining how Clifford would look like when he gets his hair cut and shampoo. Thank you for reading with me.